Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take what we learned in the previous video into practice in this video where we're going to find a general solution to this differential equation. And as we can suspect, when we use the characteristic equation, we will probably get, as you guessed, an imaginary solution. So let's find out. The characteristic equation will look as follows. r squared minus 6r plus 10 equals 0. We'll solve this just like a quadratic equation. We have r is equal to minus b, which is 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2a. And simplifying that, we get the roots to be equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 40 over 2. And sure enough, r equals 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2. And obviously, that will give us a, an imaginary root or set of roots. Simplifying this a little bit more, we get r is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. And of course, the square root of negative 1 is i, and dividing 2 into the numerator, we get the two roots, r1 and 2, are going to be equal to 3 plus or minus i. So those are the two roots, and then we'll use those into our general equation. Our general equation looks as follows. y, as a function of time, is equal to e to the at times c1 cosine of b, plus c2 sine of b, and of course a and b are the coefficients in our imaginary number. This would be equal to a plus or minus bi. And, and just noticing that I did not include, of course, the variable in here, so I need a t there, and I need a t there. There, that's better. So plugging in the proper numbers, we get the general solution to be y of t is equal to e to the 3t times c1 cosine of t plus c2 sine of t. And that's the general solution to this differential equation. And that's how it's done.